Okay, so uh, we're going to think about percolation for a few minutes here. So, one of the key things with percolation, of course, is that we have a grid. So I'm going to draw a little 3x3 three three grid just to get us started. Okay, so um, the computer, when it wants to represent that, uh, it, probably what you'll want to have in C would maybe be an integer, and you call it uh, lattice maybe. And then you put two square brackets after it for a two-dimensional array. In this case, the two sides are three and three. What that gives us is elements from lattice zero, zero through to lattice two, two with everything in between. Okay, so if we want to fill a random square, then if we can generate, often random number generators, give us a number between 0 and 1. So if we can get between 0 and 1, then uh, we can multiply that by the length of one side and um, get a random position e.g. if we get 0 0.56 we multiply that by 3 that's equal to 1.68 and we might round that down to 1 so uh, the, the the way to, to get the integer value is generally just in, in C by putting in brackets int in front of a double So that would, if, if it's 1, it would give us this position here along x. So this is 0, 1, 2. This is 0, 1, 2. And if, you, if another number was, say, 0 0.13, we multiply that by 3. That is equal to 0 0.39. That would round down to 0. And so this would give us this one. And so we're looking at this square here. And what we could then do is set lattice uh, 0. No, it's, um, well, you have to figure out which one of these is x and which one is y. Uh, I'm going to, I think it makes more sense maybe to have y as the first one. So y value up and down was 0 x for value along was 1, and that could be equal to, to say that's equal to 1. Now, of course, you wouldn't put 0 or 1 in your program. What you would do is put some sort of maybe um, n, x, and n, y values. Those should be integer values, of course, um, but sort of integers in the x and y direction. Now, if when you define the array, 
you see that's equal to open curly brackets, close curly brackets, then it will make sure that everything in the array is zero to begin with. And here, um, by getting this random thing, uh, a random number generation multiplying it by the length of the sign, you can then start filling in the squares one by one. So um, now at this point, uh, I need to pause, but I hope that is uh, a helpful start.